So welcome to the Connect Carolina Makeover Sneak Peek for HR. We have a lot of exciting news to share with you today, and we have a great team here to do it. If I could just advance my slides here. There we go. All right. So today's webinar team, I'm your presenter. My name is Rebecca Jones, and I'm on the Connect Carolina Change Management team. We also are joined by subject matter expert Rajani Day, who is the senior HR business systems analyst. Hi, Rajani. Hello. <laughs> Glad to be here. Thank you for being here, and thanks for your help getting this ready. Um, Megan Keefe is going to join us in a little bit, and she is the HR business systems manager. And to make sure this webinar goes smoothly and also we'll be collecting your questions during the webinar is our moderator, Jackie Treschel, who is also on the Connect Carolina change management team. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Rebecca. Thanks for your help today. <clears throat> so how this webinar is going to go is I have a presentation to show you. It's a little, it's less than an hour. Um, but during the presentation, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them by using your chat box and Jackie will be collecting your questions. We'll answer some of them during the presentation, but we've also saved a chunk of time to answer questions at the end. If for some reason you have to step away and you miss some of the webinar or you just want to refer to this later, it will be posted out on ccinfo.unc.edu probably in like the next day or so, right? Okay. So topics we'll be covering today is the benefits of this makeover, why we're making this change, and when the change is happening. We'll also take a look at the home pages, and I say home pages, plural. Currently you just have one, but you're going to have access to possibly more than one, so we'll take a look at those. And also we'll look at different ways to get around in the new look. Uh, speaking of the new look, um, some of your HR pages will look a little bit different, so we're going to take a look at a couple of those as well, and then we'll wrap it up and answer any questions you have at the end. So what's happening with this makeover? Um, the new look is more modern um, compared to what we have right now, and by a lot of standards, um, the look that we're going to is, is more modern, it's updated, um, and you'll notice it's tile based and there's more icons. Um, it's a little bit more colorful than what we see now, but we'll take a look at that in just a second. Um, for some users on campus, there's going to be as much as 72% fewer clicks. So that will make this new look much more efficient. It's also more flexible. There are more ways of pages that you need, and in the future, there might even be more than four ways to do that. It's also more intuitive, which is great, so new users can get up to speed more quickly in the system, and also the most used features are easily available. It's also going to be more accessible. When we take a look at the pages, you'll notice that um, some of the fields are larger and more spread out, and there's been some color changes as well. So why are we doing this change? It paves the way for a better user experience, especially with mobile devices. Uh, and speaking of mobile devices, that's especially true for students, which they're very excited about. So last week, some of the change, man change management team members and a couple members from the help desk were in the pit handing out some free food, some free goodies, and telling them about the, the makeover. And I think they were more excited about the, the change, if you can believe that, than they were about the free food. Yeah, they were, Rebecca. Actually, one of the students said that the upgrade was even better than the free snacks he was getting. Okay. He was pretty excited <laughs> about it. Well, that's, that's awesome. <laughs> and they were good snacks, too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So also, the software behind Connect Carolina, which is called PeopleSoft, is moving away from the current version that we're using. And so by us upgrading, it will allow us to continue to receive their support. And also we get to take advantage of some new features and new pages. So when is this happening? This is actually happening in a couple of weeks. So the weekend of May 17th, Friday to be more specific, Friday, May 17th at 
5 o'clock p.m., Connect Carolina will be unavailable because all of the technical stuff is going to be happening behind the scenes. So 5 o'clock p.m. on Friday, Connect Carolina is unavailable through the weekend and then will become available again to you on Monday, May 20th, I believe at like 7 a.m. So when you log in, sorry, when you log on to Connect Carolina on Monday, May 20th, that's when you'll notice all of these changes. So earlier I mentioned that you're going to have access to multiple home pages and there's going to be some different ways to get around. So that's what we're going to take a look at now. But first, before we do that, I just wanted to kind of call out some features on the current look of Connect Carolina. So when you log in, sorry, log on to Connect Carolina, you see this blue bar across the top. On the left side, you have, hi, Megan. Hi. <laughs> Megan's here. <clears throat> Megan's one of the subject matter experts. I introduced you earlier, but Megan was caught up in another meeting. because <laughs> You're in demand. <laughs> you're not late. You're just busy. Um, okay, so the current look of the Connect Carolina page, when you log in, you see favorites up on the top left and you have main menu. Underneath that, you have some blue buttons here that'll take you to other areas of Connect Carolina. In the center, you have announcements and currently those announcements uh, are related to areas all across Connect Carolina. So nothing is specific to the area you work in currently. Then on the upper right, you have your My Work List. Up above that, you have a few links, the Home Link, Work List, Add to Favorites, and Sign Out. So we all know that's what we've been seeing for years when we log on to Connect Carolina. But here's what it's going to look like come May 20th. So big change there. Now instead of these blue buttons on the left, we have some links on the left, and we have these white boxes on the page, which we call tiles. And up in the center of your new homepage, you see that there's a box, or I'm sorry, a tile that says notification. This is where you're going to receive your messages. But instead of seeing messages that are, you know, may not pertain to you or the area you work in, now they'll be specific to the area that you work in. So if you work in a, the area of HR, you'll see HR notifications. But if you also have access to some finance roles, you'll see finance notifications as well. Down at the bottom where it says announcement, and right now there it says the outage begins Friday, ends Monday, um, announcements will be across the board. Those will be the same for everyone. So now I'm going to just point out on the top right side of the new look, you'll see that there's three icons instead of having links across the top. So you'll have the, the little house, that's your home button, then the three vertical dots, and then something that looks like a compass. So let's take a closer look at this and talk about those home pages. Right now, I'm showing the Admin Work Center homepage. Anybody that uses Connect Carolina to do their job here at UNC, um, and by that I mean if you have to do your transactions in Connect Carolina, you'll have access to the admin homepage, the admin work center homepage. But you may have access to other pages, um, other homepages as well. So in order to see what you have access to, and you might, you will probably need to be switching between these pages, you'll just click the white down facing arrow next to where it says admin work center. And when you click that, there's going to be some choices that come up of other home pages that could possibly be available to you. Um, your access in the system will determine what other pages you have access to. So, Right now, the, the main page that I'm showing is the Admin Work Center homepage. And as I mentioned, that is for anybody that needs to use Connect Carolina for their job. But the self-service homepage will be available to anyone that has a job at Connect Care, or sorry, a job at UNC. <laughs> um, the student homepage will be available to anyone who is currently a student or if you've ever been a student. So if you graduated from here, a long time ago even, <laughs> um, you will see the student homepage. If you're a faculty member, uh, faculty portal will be your homepage. And then at the very bottom, it says my page. 
And that is actually um, a homepage that you can customize for yourself, but I think we'll be talking about that at a later time. Yeah. Okay. So right now we're on the Admin Work Center homepage and just looking at this, the tiles that are available are, we see HR Work Center, you know, reporting tile, things of that nature, but nowhere do I see anything that talks about anything personal. So um, maybe my training or my paycheck or even the TIM tile. So to get to those things, you would switch over to the self-service homepage. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then voila, this is what the self-service homepage looks like. You still have some links on the top left. You, you'll still have your notifications and announcements, but you'll have different tiles available to you. Um, you'll see that you see the Tim tile, personal information tile. I wanna call that one out really quickly because that's where you'll need to go to make um, any changes to your address or phone number, things of that nature. You used to do those changes in the directory, but now you'll do them here. Um, so anyway, I just want to kind of give you a quick glimpse of the self-service homepage, and we will be coming back to this in just a little bit. Right, have any questions come in yet? Not yet. Okie dokie. Okay, so I just jumped back to the Admin Work Center homepage, and now I just wanted to call out some different ways that you can get around and connect Carolina. The first one is by using uh, the tile. So you can click, no matter what homepage you're on, if you click a tile, it'll take you to either a work center or a page. So that is one way to get around. Um, some other ways to get around um, is by using the compass. The compass is the icon in your upper right corner. And the reason why it says two through four is because the next few ways that I'm going to show you to get around all involve this compass. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And it just opened up something called the nav bar, which I guess is just short for navigation bar. We're calling it the nav bar. And you see you have four icons there, recent places, my favorites, navigator. Um, those are gonna be the three ways I talk about getting around. And then of course, the terms of use policy there at the bottom, which won't really get you around anywhere unless you need to just do something with the terms of use policy. <laughs> but um, so first I wanna show you the my favorites. Um, favorites being a place that you probably visit often and have saved so you don't always have to click your way to it or maybe it's a page that you visit twice a year and can't always remember how to get there so you saved it. This is where you'll go to see your my favorites that you've saved. Want to give you a quick tip. All of your current favorites and any new favorites you save now, between now and that Friday, May 17th at 5 p.m., those will all carry over to the new look on Monday, May 20th. So go ahead and save everything now. And then when you log on on May 20th, they'll still be there. You'll just click that star to get to them. Um, if it's been a while since you've saved a favorite or maybe you've never done it, just want to give you a quick refresher on how to save. Um, in your current Connect Carolina, whenever you're on a page that you'd like to save as a favorite, just click the link on the top right that says Add to Favorites. It will open a, <clears throat> another window that says Add to Shortcuts. And then you can name your page whatever you want to name it and then just click Save. So if you do all that now, that'll all carry over on the 20th. You're good. Okay. okay, so jumping back over to ways to get around, I'm gonna go now to the Navigator. And Navigator kind of works like your current main menu in the sense that when you click on main menu, um, it opens up other choices and other pages that you can get to and it'll cascade across your entire page. The difference with the navigator is when you click on it, it'll just kind of open a little bit more on the right side of your screen and it'll open up some menus. Now the menus that you have are also dependent upon your access in the system. Um, before I click on a menu, I just wanted to draw your eye up to the top of your nav bar. So right now I've clicked on the navigator icon and if you just go up to my favorites, recent places, nav bar, navigator, above that you see it says home. I'm going to click on the HR payroll menu option and then watch what, I'll, watch what happens up next to home. Now it's starting to make a path for you. 
So this is where it kind of is like your main menu, except it's not going across your entire screen. It's all located on your nav bar. So I just clicked on the HR payroll menu. Now I'm going to choose another option. Um, let's do benefits. And now benefits is up top a part of your path. So your path now is going to be up at the top of your nav bar. And if I clicked, you know, maybe UNC benefits, you know, again, the path would just keep continuing. So this is good to know. Um, so if you ever need to submit a help ticket and they ask you for a screenshot of your path, this is where you'll find it. Any questions so far? No. Am I leaving anything out? No? Okay. <laughs> So that was the navigator. Now I want to talk about recent places. You currently have, have recent places now, but uh, with the new look, it'll be located under your nav bar. And recent places is a little unique in the sense that the only places listed under recent places will be pages that you got to by way of using that navigator. So if you were on your home, home page of any kind and you clicked a tile and it took you where you needed to go um, that will not show in your recent places so when you click on in recent places and you see the choices um, it'll only be the places that you got to by using the navigator okay so now I'm going to jump back to the home page um, home the self-service home page and want to show you um, a couple tiles, or actually I'm just going to show you the my pay and taxes tile here. So my pay and taxes, um, that's going to take you out to where you can view your paycheck. So it'll have the check date there on this, uh, in the center of your screen, you can select your paycheck um, by the check date. And under the view paycheck column, it's, it's in blue, view paycheck, that's your link to open up the pay stub. Um, now you can also change your direct deposit information. And that is a link here on the left of your screen um, under that where it says like view paycheck. And you can also view other tax information, things that you've filled out. I also wanna point out what this navy blue rectangle boxes with the two white lines in them, um, that will collapse your menu options on the left. And if you click it again, it'll open it back up. Um, right now in Connect Carolina, your collapse button looks like two little arrows up at the top on the top left. So just wanna point out that um, from now on, it'll be this navy blue rectangle. Okay, so now I've jumped back to the HR Work Center and just wanted to talk about a couple tiles here on this uh, homepage. First one is the Student Admin Work Center. Um, even though you're, you are considered to work in the area of HR, many of you will have access to the Student Admin Work Center tile only because you have access to the Find Existing PID page. And you can't get to the find existing PID page through this tile. I say that with a little up talk. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> um, you'll get to the find existing PID page through the navigator. But since you have access to that page, that's why you'll see this tile. So for many of you, you'll see the tile, but when you click on the actual tile, you won't see anything. You only have it because you have access to that find existing PID page. But again, you'll get to that by using the navigator. That's not to say that some of you don't actually have many roles in the Student Admin Work Center. So in that case, if you have that tile and you click on it, you very well may see some information there. So just want to say some of you, maybe a, many of you will have access to see that tile, but some will um, see information behind it and some will not. Right next to it is the help tile and I'm actually going to come back to that one. So I'm just going to skip above it and go to the work list tile. Um, in your current look of Connect Carolina, your work list is on the upper right hand side of your screen and here with the new look, it's going to be an actual tile and just by even looking at it, it'll show you how many you know, EPARs are waiting your approval. And I believe if you click on it, 
it'll mm -hmm. list just maybe the top few? It will. I think for our, our people who do a lot of work with eCars, this tile is going to be nice because it'll, it'll show you how many actions are awaiting your approval. But then we're strongly recommending that you still go in through the EPAR evaluate tool to actually do your approvals because the you're going to have much more functionality there than you do using the work list. Great. Thank you for clearing that up. So that is your work list tile. Now um, there's also a reporting tile and you may have access to the finance work center tile, but this is the sneak peek for HR. So let's go ahead and look at the HR work center tile. Click that and here we are now in the HR work center. So this looks a little bit different um, than your current HR work center in the sense that now on your left, your folders are all collapsed. Currently, when you log in, they're all open. So that's, that's one of the changes to look out for on the 20th. Something that is not changing is your EPARs. So if you were a little nervous about that, no need to worry. You just click on EPAR homepage and you'll just start a new EPAR, select ever which one it is that you need to, to start the action with and it all looks exactly the same. So no changes for the EPARs. But let's talk about job data. Job data, obviously a very popular page in Connect Carolina for HR. And to get there, you'll click on the job positions folder. And job data is down here, like the third one down. When you click on that, now here is your job data search screen. So obviously this looks a little bit different in that the tabs and the tab and search button are green and the fields are larger and they're spread out a little bit. There's now spaces in between the fields. Other than that, all of the information is the same and it's all in the same order. So I'm going to just plug in a PID real quick and search. And again, um, looks uh, pretty much identical to what you're seeing now. The only difference is up at the top, the tabs, of course, they'll be green when you click on them. They're also a little bit rounded and there's a tiny bit more space between each tab. But other than that, uh, job data, it looks the same. Okay. So another popular page is the UNC employee information. That is going to be under the person data folder. And when you click on UNC employee information, um, here is your search page. And again, just like job data, the only difference is the tab is green, the search button is green, fields are a little bit larger, and there's some space between them. But other than that, uh, it's the same information. So I'll plug in the same PID that I just used so you can see what the UNC employee information page looks like. And again, it's exactly like what you see now, except for the different colored tabs. Are there any questions coming in? Okay. Oh, also wanted to mention that the online help that you currently have available on your Connect Carolina pages are still available um, with the new look and they will be in the same spot. So you just click that help button and it'll still take you to the same place to look up um, any Connect Carolina guides and things of that nature. Also wanted to mention, if you look on this page, notice that there's no previous button or there's no back button. So how do you get back to where you need to go? You'll click the home uh, the little house icon, which will take you back to your home page. So anytime you're maybe out in a page and you're stuck, the way to get back is by clicking the home button, which is that house icon. So now I'm back at the admin work center homepage and I said I was going to talk about the help tile. So I just wanted to show you that real quick. Everyone will have access to a help tile. But when you click on it, depending on your access in the system, that will determine the boxes that you see on the screen. So um, I, I have access right now on this screen to HR help, but I see I also have the student admin help box, um, but I don't have the finance 
help box. So if I had finance roles, then that would be on here as well. Um, but at, it, within these boxes are links that'll take you out to other areas in the system or maybe the OHR website or unc.edu, places like that. Um, but I also wanted to mention that that Connect Carolina help that is available to you on all of the Connect Carolina pages is also on this uh, help, help resources page. So you don't actually have to be in a page to get that help. You can just click it here. So summing this information up, the new look is coming on Monday, May 20th. And remember to save your favorites now. Um, there's gonna be different ways to move around in Connect Carolina by way of tiles, favorites, navigator, and recent places. And also just keep in mind that you can switch between different home pages. But again, you'll have those, depending on your access and the system, uh, will determine the home pages that you get to see. So with that said, we have plenty of time for questions. Do we have any? We don't yet. Okay. So go ahead and type your questions. Um, one thing mm -hmm. I want to mention was we'll have a new landing page, a new login page. Yes. Um, for Connect Carolina that has a smart button on there. Um, and so what that is, is when you go to connectcarolina.unc.edu, instead of the two buttons and then you have to decide if you're logging in as a student or if you're a staff member um, you'll just have one button to log in and as soon as um, when you log in the system will bring up the pages and the information that you need and will know who you are um, when you log in so no more remembering to hit the second green button if you're a staff member um, so that you don't get the student center <laughs> <laughs> great thank you for that this is Raj. I'll just point out one thing as well. Um, for those of you with the HR payroll reporting dashboard link, right now on the HR Work Center, you have to click on an extra tab and then click again on the link. So that is going to be available quickly and easily through the reporting tile. It'll still be on the HR Work Center if you want to get to it that way, but now you have another way to get there that's a lot quicker. All right. Thank you. So we do have one comment um, from Bethany who said no questions, but this looks great. Uh, thanks for everyone's work on these amazing changes. Thanks, Bethany. We appreciate that. Um, Thank and, you, Bethany. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we do have a question from Melanie. What do you click on in HR to submit a PAT? You still get to that the same way, I believe, on the HR Work Center. Okay. And they get to the pats by using the navigator. I, I saw pat as a as a choice there on the navigator. Yeah. I think however you get there today, it should be the same. What okay. if you get to the pat pages using HR Work Center, those links are still going to be available. If you navigate through the nav through the main menu, they should still be there. In the future, the if that's how you prefer to navigate, yes. Okay. And I think it got added to the Finance Work Center as well. Does that sound right? That may be. I'm not 100% sure what's okay. going on. We'll check into that. We'll add that to our frequently asked questions. Yes. <laughs> um, we have a question from Alan Brown. Um, that says, is it safe to assume that the emails about this upcoming change and these informational webinars are going to all users with Connect Carolina access? Uh, meaning if folks are reading their emails, these changes shouldn't come as a surprise. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. And actually on that, um, so this is the, the HR webinar. And is it later this week? There's going to be one for student and another one for finance. Yes. They're all this week. Um, no. Oh. So the, the student one is on Thursday, I believe. Okay. May 2nd um, from 11 to 12. And the finance one is Monday, May 6th from 3 to 4. Um, if you go to CC Info um, on the ccinfo.unc.edu slash connect Carolina dash makeover, there's a schedule for the webinars. And we will be, um, we are recording this one and we'll be posting this one 
um, after this. And I'll also be, if, if you folks are not all um, subscribed to the Connect Carolina newsletter, there's going to be a special edition Connect Carolina newsletter all related to this makeover. And I believe um, in that letter, there'll also be a couple more, I think two more quick videos, a three and a half minute one that goes into ways to navigate or ways to get around to Connect Carolina. And it'll show you a way to save your favorite save your favorites in the new Connect Carolina. And there'll also be another short one and a half minute video on how to view your paycheck. So anytime you see, you know, those, you know, quick video, go ahead and click on it because you'll find some information there too. We also have a, our next HR payroll user group meeting coming up on May 14th. And we will probably be spending the bulk of that meeting focusing on the changes. So I'd encourage people to come to that as well. Yes. And that'll be sent in an email. We'll send an, um, an invitation out for that so you can get it on your calendars in the next day or so. Okay, we have another question from Bob. Um, he said, will Infoport be affected by these changes? No. Nope. The only change would be if there's more ways to get to the Infoport link. Yes. Because it'll be on the reporting tile. It's still on your HR Work Center. I think it's on all of the links tiles too, so it'll be easier to get there. All right, good to know. That's all the questions we have for right now. Okay. Go ahead, if you've got any questions, go ahead and type them in. Um, I don't know how I got these questions, but it looks like one came in, is there a limit on the number of favorites? And I don't believe that there is. I've never, I have not heard that. Have you all? I have about 50, so. Okay. <laughs> so that was a great question. So we don't think that there is a limit on favorites. If you, if anybody ever hits one, let us know. Shoot us an email to Connect Carolina Communications. We'd like to know that. Um, and another question that says, under self-serve, when updating your personal information, will this also feed and get updated to the payroll benefits? Yes, when you're updating your personal information in Connect Carolina, it'll automatically feed to benefits and payroll. Great, thank you. Great questions. I did want to mention related to the favorites, if you currently have favorites and use folders to sort and um, filter your favorites today, you will lose those folders. But one thing that's nice about favorites in the new look is that it's putting them in alphabetical order for you, which doesn't happen currently, so it is a lot easier to find them. Thank you. Good to know. Yeah. Any more questions coming in? I have not seen any more questions and we still have some time. Yeah. You just did such a great job of covering everything. Thanks, Rebecca. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> Rebecca, you mentioned um, you will see the student homepage, whether you're a student now or previously a student, I'll tell you if you've ever even signed up for a class or considered a student. So I signed up for a class maybe a year or two ago. And I'll be honest, I didn't actually take the class, but I'm still in there as a student. So know that you may see that wondering why am I seeing this? So you don't have to be like a fully enrolled right. full time student. You can be taking a, just a class and it'll right. show up. You'll be considered a student forever. Um, and I'm actually glad you said that because I meant to mention something else and am I still sharing my screen? I yes. sure am. Um, well, what I was going to mention was uh, if you have access to that student uh, homepage, when you are down on the help resources page, here we go. You'll only have a help box related to student, um, not student admin, but student help if you are a current student. Mm -hmm. So just wanted to throw that out there as well. They have to be a current student to see the help box, but you'll still have access to the homepage. Yeah, so, so the student homepage, you might have different security of which tiles you see based on if you're a current student or a former student or a proxy, but if you've ever had anything to do with student, there's a chance that you'll have access to the home page. And that might be the default one you see, you might have to switch that. Okay. 
So we do have another question uh, back to the favorites with the alphabet alphabetization. Alphab okay, with alphabetizing them. Uh, you can rename your favorites to sort per topic or use. So that was a question. Ooh, can I you rename know, the well, favorites like you can we'll today? Test that. We'll have to test that and check. All right. Um, so, so that all of your higher related favorites, preface them with higher to keep them together. Yes. Um, in the navigator, in the nav bar, when you click my favorites, there's a button at the top called edit favorites. And that is where you should be able to change the label of the page. And that's a great right. suggestion mm -hmm. for how you could use this without the folders. Mm -hmm. Thanks for that tip. There's even a sequence <laughs> number field, actually. So if you wanted to just change a sequence number, then that would work too. So check that out when you get access. And when will they get access again? May 20th. <laughs> <laughs> any more coming in? We don't have any other questions yet. Okay. So if any, if any other questions come up between now and the 20th, um, please feel free to email us at cc, communi underscore. Un cc underscore communications at unc.edu and we will get right back to you. Other than that, I think, I think that's it. Yep, I don't see anything else. Okay, last call for questions. Time for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all so much. Have a great day. Bye. Bye. Bye.